Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Let's take a look at one of our Believe cards. This is by Sarah Ban Breathhart. Expect to have hope rekindled. Expect your prayers to be answered in wondrous ways. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow up 18, Nasdaq down 5, S&P's up 2.5, gold contract down $5.80, trading at 1,251 an ounce. Silver off 22 cents at $18.79 an ounce. Platinum down 7 at 1,452 an ounce. Oil. Down 74 cents at 102.84 a barrel. Bonds. We had the 10 year down 7 ticks at 126.05. 30 year down 12 ticks at 138.02. King dollar down 110 ticks trading out at 80.43. We had the euro up 30 and the yen trading flat at 101.78. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Well, I know what's going on in your world. Now, we're going to have some fun today, folks. Why? When we always go through the market at the beginning of the hour, uh, it's the end of the month. We can go through the daily, weekly, and monthly. So, S&Ps at highs. Now, check this out because we have 800 million shares out here. So, that means, number one, and that's a rebalance, but it doesn't matter. It's volume. So, that means that that high is going to get tested. So, we're, we closed at 1923.21. We go take a look at the SPY. So we take the SPY, and I'm going to put take these up in the monthlies. We put it on a monthly, and what we have here is, let's see, I'm going to do a five-year monthly. So what do you have? You get a high, high, no doubt. We did uh, 1.7 billion shares, and the bottom line, it should be banging out about 3 billion. Just to give you an idea, when we go back, we're at 192. When you're at 197, you did 2.3. Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. What we have with the Dow is this. Dow Industrials, I believe, oh, just under its highs. Okay, so the Dow is at 716, 16,716. The high out there is 735. Um, we put this on the monthly basis. And what does she have here? So, yeah, this little baby. Same deal. I mean, the bottom line is that your last high up here had uh, 2.1 billion. We did uh, 1.5 this month. NASDAQ Composite. We're going to take a look at the composite. What do you have with the composite? She was flat out here today. We are at 42.42. You did 1.8 billion. If we look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, uh, three Qs, the high, I think this was the test out here today. Let's see. Yeah, 91.36. So this is what you have. 91.36 was the last high that was generated in the NDX 100. That was generated, folks, March 7th. That's when the NDX went from 91 down to 83. Came up there today, tested it, did it on uh, 28 million versus 31 million. So it failed on the daily. We bring this back. We take a look on the weekly. And let's see what we have on the weekly. So on the weekly, you set up like this. The weekly was 154 million. And that's going to be that's going to be a valid test on the weekly. So watch this. Let's see what we have here. So we got uh, because because of this is a short week. What you have to do is you have to calculate in one twenty two divided by four times five, one fifty two. You got to love it. Okay, so check it out. So we tested the high with one fifty two versus one fifty four. Bottom line that that high there will will also get tested again. Gold. Let's go take a look at gold. So check it out. Check it out. The whole world is bearish, folks. And I'm telling you, this is going to be interesting watching this shake out. So this is what we had. And this is the perfect day for this to happen. OK, gold gets down to 1242 today. We do 125,000 contracts. You come into. Yeah. What you're doing here is this. You're coming into the lows you're coming into the highs of the lows. That's what we're doing. And in fact, uh, let me bring up the GLD so you can see what this baby did. Gold loves to do this, man. It's really wild how this works. Okay, so check it out. The GLD, we're at 120.43. If you put this, we'll turn around. I'm going to put this on the weekly first. And you can see what, what, it, what it did. On the weekly, 
you have two separate lows. Your first low came in, that was established on the week of the 28th of June. The 28th of June, let me get this back up. Okay, so the 28th of June, we did 109 million shares. Your second low, which was the test, came in with 63 million. Now the 63 million, the high of the 63 million is 120.77. Your correlation out here today is that it went into it and rejected it. We did, let me see, 31 divided by 4 times 5. Okay, so we did 38 million shares versus 63 million. It's going to get, it, gold's not going to go break that bottom. You very well could have had that low end gold out here today. If, I, if you take a look at some of these, Gold equities, what you're going to see is this. If we go to Rangel Resources first, G-O-L-D, you'll see what Rangel did. Rangel came down to 72.69, rejected that level, goes higher. The 72.69 was coming into its sign of strength that was back in February 3rd. That's when we took off from $59. We go all the way up to 85 Put this on a... Weekly basis, and what you're going to see on the weekly is this. Oh, this is sweet. Okay, so on a weekly basis, 73. Oh, you got to see this. This is a trip. Okay, so Wrangle comes out of 72.69. You are coming into your sign of strength going back to February 7th. February 7th, you went from 70 to 73 with 4.8 million. 2.1, so 2.1, you get a figure, the bottom line is that 2.1, that's 500,000, that's 2.6. So 2.6 versus 4, 4 million. It's a, it's a, it's, these are rejecting lower prices. Gold Corp did the same thing. Gold Corp comes down to 22.76, closed at 23.37, has juice behind the move. I think we get action here. Let's go over to the silver market. Sil sil what, ha what was happening, folks, is that silver w was the divergence inside that metals market. So silver gets down today to 1861. Your low on silver was the 1868. Your volume characteristic, yeah, sweet, I rejected it. Okay, so your volume characteristic, oh, this is close though, okay, was 41,000 versus. 36. That's not good. That's saying it can get tested again. Okay, SLV. We go take a look at the SLV. What the SLV did, yeah, that's saying it can get tested again. So the SLV came down with 12 million shares, gets into the low, which is 1816, went to 1791, closed it. In fact, the, the SLV closed at uh, 1807. And you want to see the SLV close it uh, inside 1826, really. Yeah, so that low can get tested again. Gold, though, I think we get action here. Uh, let me go pull up a few more. If we pull up AEM, yeah, AEM rejected. Oh, this is a classic. So an Eco Eagle, what do you do? You get down to 29.32. The top of the gap was 29.62. This is, it's crazy how this works. It really is. It did dramatically lighter volume, too. Action, baby. Okay, bond market. What do we have with bonds? Oh, I know what we got to do. One second. Hold it. I'm going to go back to the monthly on the GLD. So let's take a look at the monthly since we can. On the monthly basis, this is what you have on the monthly basis. Yeah, the monthly, it's, it's really insane. The monthly, you came down at 113 million going into 185 million going into 254 million. There's no more sellers. Correlation 113 into 254. Good number. That was the GLD. We take a look at the SLV. On a monthly basis, what we have with the SLV, where is she? There she is right there. So in the SLV, what we did, you come in into 284 million and you did 116 million. That is a beautiful thing. No two ways about that. Bonds, we take a look at the bond market. You stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming right back. The 10-year, everybody, buddy, this baby's 126. That wants to go higher. You stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming back with our... Technology expert at TFNN, our man, Mr. David White. The Dow is up 18, NASDAQ down 5, S&P's up 2. We're going to be right back.